In this world, is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendental entity or force? Is our species forever doomed to be shackled by our lust for progress at the expense of our past? Do we latch on to what is to be rather than what once was, desperately trying to define our mortality with the legacy we left behind? At least it is true that man has no control, even over his own safety nets. Well, this is certainly anticlimactic. Ow! Ow! Oh! oh I did it! Sliding, sliding! Ah! Oh, God! OSHA'S GONNA KILL US! How's the sensitivity on the x-axis, Lieutenant Shinobu? Much better. I can see why Yushina Hara boys take such pride in the Type-0. The response time makes our Ingrams look almost prehistoric. Well, the Type-0 is yeah, technically yeah, no. part of the Ingram system, but it doesn't suffer from the lag no, garnered from hardware machine. not designed for just, the just HOS system. Wait, hang on, Lieutenant. For the fourth time, I can't eat anchovies. I'm allergic to fish! Read my personal file. Read it. Wow! The Type Zero kind of puts Alphonse to shame, doesn't it? Don't say that. He might hear you and feel sad. Alphonse is 47 miles away. Plus, he's a machine that doesn't have feelings. That's not true! I sometimes catch him crying black tears when people say mean things about me. What you're describing is an oil leak. You're supposed to report those to the tech crew. He system they were talking about. HOS stands for Hyper Operating System. Isn't that a little redundant? I mean, it's already got- It's a brand new program designed to increase the efficiency of pretty much any labor it's installed in. This one looks kind of scary. Like he can see into my soul or something. I don't think Alphonse would like him either. Machines are machines. That's true intimidation. What are you two doing here? Did Captain Goto send you? Ma'am, we're here to take you back to Section 2. Of course you are. Captain Goto, as usual, has nothing better to do than harass me. Asuma! The lieutenant looks as mean as that labor today. You know, I'm standing right here. Shh! If we don't move, she can't hear us! <sighs> Believe me, lieutenant, it's not worth it. I should know. Stop trying to steal my soul! To the helicopter at Landing Pass, you have double park. If you do not move soon, you will be- Wow! This place is amazing! Everything is labor-sized! There's a labor size floor, a labor size support beam, a labor size. So I thought the type zero security, was supposed to be perfect. What's it doing back here? Recently, the New York Police Force finally received three type zeros, and they ran into some issues. Since most of the engineers are on the Ark in order to forward the Babylon project, it was easiest to send it here. Issues, huh? Well, what do you expect with someone like Kanaka in charge of a labor division? All right, listen up, you stupids. I'm gonna teach you how to pilot the labors. We are professionals. I think we know what we're doing. Teacher, I have to go bathroom. You can go in the suit. Wait, really? No! Oh, too late. That's disgusting. So apparently, Shige wanted to do a thorough inspection of Zero's software, despite Shinohara Heavy Industries' endorsement. What'd you find out? As we expected, nothing. But if he's concerned about it, there's gotta be something wrong, so we're checking. You know, Shige also once thought our refrigerator was bugged. He wouldn't go into the kitchen until we flooded it out. He even thought that the microwave had the ability to read his mind. Don't be so harsh on him, Azuma. You're right. I think the government would be better off not knowing what Shige's thinking anyway. I'm happy I don't. What do you mean Division 1 is still off duty? Do you honestly think those incompetent Whoa. idiots in Division 2 can keep the city under control? No, no, they're not that bad. I managed to pry Goto away from the coffee machine. That must count for something. I didn't want to be stationed here, but I went along with it because I was told I would have independence. This is not what I signed up for. Things happen, Lieutenant. You just gotta learn to deal with it. Deal with it? I'm not simply gonna deal with a setback this large. I'm taking this to the Commissioner. Stop right there. The situation goes beyond you and your small division. Several days ago, an X-10 military laborer broke out of its base and ran through the surrounding forest. After covering 50 square kilometers of ground and costing millions in resources, they finally brought the damn thing to a halt. However, upon inspection, they discovered there was no pilot in control. You've had problems with the X-10 before. I don't see what this has to do with my division. The X-10 was recommissioned by Shinohara Heavy Industries, the same company that manufactures all police laborers in the country. 
Before it was sent for testing, its memory had been refitted with their brand new HOS system. Whether or not the malfunction was caused by the labor or the HOS system is still unknown. But they don't want to take any chances. So then why can't you just put us back into our old 97s? It's not that simple, Lieutenant. Well, why isn't it that simple, Chief? Oh no, how do you put up with this woman? Sorry, what were you saying? <sighs> Both of you get the hell out of my office. With our luck, I'm really not surprised we're stuck defending the entire city again. Quit being such a whiny bitch, Asuma! Why don't you take pride in defending our city from the forces of evil? I'll work all day and night if it means our citizens can sleep safely in their beds. I haven't seen my wife in two months. Aw, doesn't she get lonely? No, the milkman visits her every night. Oh, night delivery! So she makes me pay oh, for it too. Well, well, at this point, it's sex. not like we have a choice. You know we've been really, really busy these last few weeks. At least we got a moment to relax now. Oh, hell yes! Asuma, you jinxed it! Knock on wood next time! Sorry, I really couldn't reach your head from here. Hey! Attention! Rogue Leader is approaching! And I guess you heart discretion! Now, if you'll excuse me... <laughs> Up here. No, you come down here! No, it's safe up here! Oh god. Jesus Christ! Oh, piggy! All units, the Tyrant 2000 is moving south southeast at about 4 kph. Asuma, keep heading south and set up at the river. Roger that. Oda, mount up and pursue. Neutralize, but try to leave the pieces in working condition this time. No promises! I'm gonna neutralize the shit out of this guy! Slow down, Oda! The captain said take it easy this time! said last night, Shinji, and I didn't! You just gonna take that from him? Really? Just raise him. <laughs> like your wife did! I'll hand you! Do not fear, citizens! I am here to maintain order and protect the f*** out of all of you! Oh God, Vincent! He's not one minute into the mission and he's already killed something. Asuma, I think I finally figured out Oda. He's a trigger-happy psychopath who doesn't belong in the Force. He's mean to his labor, so it gets angry and kills things. He should really be nicer to it. No, uh, laborers don't care if you're nice to them or not. They're machines. Don't you ever say that again! Alphonse heard you! Greetings, officer! Which way did the perpetrator go? Oh, I don't know! Maybe that way! Thank you, my good patrolman! Onward, Sebastian! Ah, oh, damn it! I had a perfectly good bear claw in there! Oh god, my horoscope told me specifically to avoid medium sized robots today! Stop right there, criminal scum! You are violating the law and you must pay the price! You idiot! I haven't done anything wrong! I think the gas pedal is done! Then pay with your blood! Ha! I've got your hump! Oh god! That's it! I've had it! I will take you down, Dragon Society! Your reign of terror over these people ends this day! My trusty steed, Sebastian, and I will take you to. the two carriers, and bring the labor-sized pick. Die, you overgrown toaster! Just as this cool mistress, my chinksy wife. Where is that cowboy who piloted my labor into the drink? Uh, he's outside. The voice put a stovepipe hat and scarf on him. When I said stay frosty, I did not mean literally. Hose him down, he's in for a major ass chewing. Out of 22 incidents involving rogue laborers, Otis tape. destroyed 26. The man is a nuisance. On top of that, I don't think the city will continue to pay for collateral damages. This coffee's good. 
Well, maybe if the Major would allow us to use both divisions, this wouldn't be such a problem. This coffee's really good. Or maybe if we didn't have Oda spreading his justice everywhere, then we could actually make some progress. Maybe get enough evidence to force Shinohara to open up their plant for inspection. Is this blend 103 or 104? Captain, focus! You're right, Asuma. This is obviously 105. God damn it. Oh, don't stress about it too much. This is out of our hands now. But sir! Shinohara Heavy Industries is too involved in the Babylon Project right now to conduct an investigation. And even if they did, there's no telling that their products are at fault in this matter. The higher-ups would prefer closing this off as another count of pilot error rather than investing resources into a possible dead end. Hey, Sakaki, can I get into the mainframe? Why the hell would a kid like you want to mess around in there? Alright. Keys are behind that photo of Shinshi's wife on my desk. You know, it disturbs me how manipulative you are of Asuma sometimes. You bet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a threesome with a phone and a cup of coffee. Because it's witchcraft. <laughs> that crazy.